Hey guys, it's your girl Carrie, and in today's video, I will be sharing my uh, daughter's purse essentials that she carries in her book bag for school. These items are the essential items that my daughter uses every day. So we tried to tailor it down so it wouldn't be too much. And so I'm going to jump right in and let you guys see what we pack in hers. Again, you need to tailor your kit to fit your own personal needs. Now, as, you, as many of you know, uh, my daughter, this kit, this little pouch back here used to be her to go period kit and if you have not seen that video I will link her to go period kit below and she basically keeps her to go period kit in her locker well I switched out her to go period kit I exchanged her to go period kit I put all of her to go period kit items in here and this little happy girls are the prettiest little pouch and this now stays in her locker and the reason I did that is because this little pouch here fits nicely in the front pocket of her book bag and we wanted to keep that in her book bag so the first item in her kit is a small package of tissues and keeping in line with tissues she also has a to-go roll of toilet paper and again she has told me in her school that when she goes to the bathroom a lot of the times the bathroom stalls do not have tissue in them so this right here is just a small sample a small you know roll of tissue it's a to-go toilet tissue if you're interested in um, having something like this in your to-go kit you can pick these small to-go tissue rolls up from five below we also keep her inhaler in her kit. My daughter has asthma, so whenever she gets sick, she can have that readily available. She also has a pack of gum. What girl doesn't like gum or candy? We also keep a little small bottle of hand sanitizer in her kit. And this little uh, unicorn cover for the hand sanitizer uh, was purchased at Five Below. So if you're interested in some cute little hand sanitizer covers, you can go to Five and Below and pick those up. Next, we have a small nail file with the word hashtag pretty on it. And it's a miniature size nail file. And this is perfect to put in a little, you know, pouch or bag or to go, you know, essentials kit. And this was part of a bigger kit if you're interested in something like that. I picked this up from a store called Rue 21. And they had all the cute little, you know, hashtag signs on the nail files. And these are now, I think, uh, on clearance. They're 50 cents a pack. They're originally $3.99. So I think this was a great deal and this would make a great stocking stuffer. So if you have a Rue 21 near you, go pick these up. Next up, she has some lotion. So again, you probably see me haul this in one of my Dollar Tree hauls. And I like the fact that this is flat and it's easy to, you know, just drop in her bag and it doesn't take up much space. We also have some lip gloss and this is the lip gloss that you pick up from Bath and Body Works. We love this type of lip gloss. And this is the Spearmint flavor, and I think it's called Mentho Lip Shine. And it's by C.O. Bigelow. And here, right here, we have a cute little compact mirror and brush in one. And see, as you can see, it's a mirror on top. And if you push the bottom in like that, it turns into a cute little, you know, brush that she can brush her hair. And this little pouch right here says smart people always make sense. And this is for if she has to ever carry any money to school for any reason if she did not pack her lunch, which we mostly pack her lunch 100% of the time. She'll put her lunch money in here or any other kind of money. Sometimes they have on Fridays where you can buy ice cream or something like that. So anytime she needs to take any money to school, she'll just put it in this little pouch. And then we also have this little pouch right here which houses a couple of other essential items. And inside this little pouch we have some little earring backings. My daughter is notorious for losing the backs of her earrings so we keep a few of those in there so that if she loses the back she can, you know, just put a back on her earring. Also in this little pouch here we have a couple of hair ties and a few bobby pins. My daughter just recently got bangs for the first time. This is the first time she ever cut her hair. So for the beginning of the school year, I allowed her to get, you know, bangs. And so now, you know, when it when the weather is unruly, her bangs don't stay pretty straight. So she uses bobby pins to kind of pin her bangs back. <laughs> and the final item in this pouch is a nail clipper. Now you guys know we always need a nail clipper. Now what's in this pouch is basically going to pertain to 
girls that have ethnic hair. And what I mean by that is hair that changes due to weather conditions and things like that. Now, my daughter, you know, from time to time, she has her natural hair and she does not have any perms or anything like that in it. And from time to time, on occasion, we do flat iron it and make it straight. And if it rains and water hits her hair, it will turn into a big poof. So in order to avoid that, because it takes me about three hours or more to get her hair straight from start to finish, or if I take her to a salon, I do not want to waste all the money I spent for her to get her hair done. So if it is raining outside, although she has a umbrella in her book bag, she needs to take you know more precaution than just the umbrella if her hair is in a straightened state. So what I do is put in a um, you know a scarf. She puts on a scarf and she'll tie her hair down. So she'll take the brush, wrap her hair around, and wrap it up, and then tie it down with a scarf. And then on top of the scarf, I have a shower cap. Now I bought a black one so it will look you know. Um, a little bit better than you know a clear shower cap on her head and it looks a whole lot better than her wearing a Kroger bag on her head because yes she does put a you know a grocery bag on her head to protect or preserve her hair so it won't get messed up so I finally went out to the store and picked up these black shower caps they seem a little bit bigger than the disposable clear ones and so she'll just put that over top of the scarf and then she will carry her umbrella and use her umbrella to protect her clothing and things like that so she won't get wet and the reason that I put the um you know the scarf on and not just the shower cap is because if you put the shower cap on your head your head will sweat and sweat also causes your hair to frizz up too so tie it down first with the scarf put on your shower cap and then use your umbrella and she is good to go